They say life is a mystery. Well, let me tell you, sweetheart. There's nothing more mysterious than the darkness lurking in the heart of this city. It's a twisted dance of shadows and secrets, swirling like smoke in a still room. The streets whisper tales of sin, betrayal, and broken dreams. This town, my town, it's a siren's call that lures you in, only to chew you up and spit you out. But here I am, in the belly of the beast, trying to make sense of it all. I've seen it all, every gunman, every two-timing dame, but tonight, something's different in the air. The phone isn't ringing just yet, but I'm sure that it's only a matter of time until my services are called for. What's the score, Mickey? Got a real Halloween treat for tonight, Asha. Some dame at her maker at the edge of the city. You don't say. Well, that's one way to start off the festivities. This one's full of spooks, too. I don't have a clue as to what the hell's going on so far. Be careful, Asha. This one ain't easy on the eyes. We've both seen enough of that to be old news, wouldn't you say, Mickey? Who was seeing me catch a bullet in the streets of Manhattan not good enough for you? You made it out of there, Archer. Can't say the same for this poor broad. Can't argue with you there. So where's the stiff? The Sinclair Mansion. Big house at the end of the road. Sure you know where it is. I know the house. I'll be right there. shattered into a million pieces like the mirror lying in front of me. I had no idea what to do except solve the case. Hello, Miss Valentine. <sighs> Detective. Everything spiraled out of control. I, I have no clue what's going on. I mean, first, Miss Sinclair's come unglued, and then this tragedy. I'm so sorry. I know how close you two were. It's not about all that now, Mary. We both know tonight is not something either of us wanted. Now you just need to tell me what you know, anything at all. I need to find out what happened to her. Yes, Detective. The air has been tight as a bowstring for days. And Miss Sinclair was nervous as a cat. Like she'd seen a ghost or something. At first I thought maybe it was just that time of year. I should have known it was something worse. A tissue, please, Mary. Is there something else I can do? There's nothing anyone can do now, Mary. Is this about your father, ma'am? If only it were as simple as all that. 
She kept mumbling and wandering about the mansion, saying things I couldn't understand. You need to eat something, ma'am. And you're looking awfully pale. Do you have a dream, Mary? Ma'am? I've been having the strangest dreams. My thoughts have become all scrambled. Perhaps we should bring the doctor. Oh, don't worry about all that now. I think I just need to lie down. Then there's all this business about the mirror. The mirror, you say? What business? I know this house, detective. I know every room. That mirror has never been in any room of this house that I've ever seen. It must have arrived today. I don't know why she would have gone and done all that without asking me first. I do all the upkeep myself. If she wanted that mirror in this house, she would have just asked me. You're telling me that mirror was not anywhere on these grounds before tonight? Yes, detective. I'm certain of it. Also, Jack, I know it does no good to hear all of this now, but I want you to know how deeply my lady cared for you. She was so broken up for days. I thought maybe the chattering to herself was just a bad case of heartache. I cared for her in more ways than just the housekeeping, you know. Thank you, Mary. All right, tell me everything again. Start from the beginning. Said she came home after shopping for the Halloween party and found her there. Called for us once she pulled herself together. Yeah, more like she's hiding the evidence. She said she was talking to Mr. Hudson until after seven. The coroner said that there... Miss Sinclair died before she got there. I'll check with the grocer to make sure, but your theory ain't holding much water, pal. When you've seen what I've seen, you start to read in between the lines. What are you saying? I'm saying there's some wiggle room. Miss Sinclair does not look like one to have enemies. I have seen far more surprising things in this town, I mean. Did the maid give you anyone else that would want to hurt her? She was complicated, sure, but not murder complicated. Miss Sinclair inherits the family fortune from her father. Or at least, she would have. You mean she didn't have it yet? Her father owns a shipping company and makes money doing trade work overseas. He had her arrange to marry a business partner at the beginning of next year. I think she had no say in that arrangement. Yeah, you could say that, Nick. I have a feeling that's what was tearing her up inside, making her act all strange. But I still don't get why anyone would want to murder her. I mean, no one wins if she ain't getting married. Except her. So let's run through this again. We got no murder weapon, no witnesses, no signs of forced entry, and no motive. Just a broken mirror. And a dead heiress. And they're sure she wasn't stabbed with the glass. They're sure. And the windows and doors were all clear. They're clear. Are you sure it wasn't the maid? Mickey, how many times have I got to tell you it ain't the goddamn maid? Who was it then? The Queen of England? She had the most to gain from the situation. She's the only one that's not dipped in diamonds. No, no, nothing was missing from the house. Not a single thing was missing. Except her eye. Come on, rookie, you haven't seen the decorations? You're supposed to be somewhat cheery. Guess I just don't see the world the same way you do. I call it having a sense of humor. What's gone into you, Jack? Nothing's adding up. I can't shake this one, Mick. I'm not letting this one go. Maybe he came back to the job too soon. Lord knows it happens to people who went through what you just did. Why don't you take the week off to yourself? Blow off some steam. I can take it from here. It's the least I could do. Maybe Mickey's right. Maybe I did come back too soon. I must not be seeing the whole picture. I'll let Mickey take over the case and take some time to get my head back on straight. I just said I'm not letting this go, Mick. I'm gonna figure out what really happened, and I'm not letting you put an innocent woman behind bars. I'll take this case on my own from here, Mick. You take care of yourself. Jack, I, I didn't mean... You're taking this the wrong way, Jack. I was on my own for this one. I could see that now. Something was scaring Verity. Pulling her away from me, pulling her away from everyone. 
As hard as this was for me to look at, I was the only one who was going to do her justice. I had to solve this now, for her sake. Everyone else was ready to move on, but not me. Verity was something else. I'd met her years ago with some business about a burglary. After I first saw her, I couldn't help but feel like our lives were entangled. I'd give anything to talk to her now, just for a moment, to ask her what was going on. She never told me about anyone who would have wanted to hurt her. She knew I would have helped. My, what happened here? I was shot in the spring, defending my partner. They sewed me up pretty good. It almost stopped my heart, but I made it up. Gee, that's awful scary. Yeah, you can hardly see the scar. I wouldn't mind if you could see it. Battle scars, darling. Battle scars. Verity. Why couldn't you have just talked to me? Miss Valentine couldn't have been the killer. They were far too close. Was it the business partner? Or her father? Yes, I'm calling for Mr. Hudson. I'm calling about a Miss Mary Valentine. She said she was with you until about 7.30 p.m. last night. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, thank you. And what about the mirror? I can't do this alone. I need to make a call. Hey there, Slick. Got a job for you. Yeah, you know where to meet me. Slick was the ace up my sleeve. The inside man to get me anything I couldn't get myself. I knew that whatever answers I was missing for this case, he would be the one to have them. Archie. Wish I could say it was good to see you. Always a dark day in this business. Just tell me you got what I need. You're the last card in my deck right now. Sounded real tense on the phone there, pal. This ain't just your run-of-the-mill case, huh? You got no idea. This one's got me questioning things. Mirrors where they ain't got no business being. People slipping through my hands like smoke. <sighs> Sounds like a real mind bender. But, you know me. Always up for a good mystery. Got a whole lot of strange things in here. Murders that'll make your head spin faster than a turntable. A whole lot of cases covered up or ignored, looks like. You may be dealing with more than you're ready to see, Archie. Don't shoot the messenger. What the hell, Slick? You're no, I nothing. I'm fine, I'm honest. Slick, what is this? Archie, stop! Please, stop! Please, don't. Hey, I have one for cheap tricks, like I, I saw you snag a paper cut just a minute ago. Me? I don't know what you're talking about, boss. No, that's not right. I saw it. I saw you bleed. I don't like the way Zeus talking. Um, see, I've got another stop to make. Um, if you need anything, call me, Arch. 